Okay, so I'm going to talk about the Brewer fixed point theorem. This is one of the early achievements of algebraic topology, which sounds scary, but bear with me. We'll get the mathematical definition out of the way first, and then I'll tell you why it's cool. So, the Brewer fixed point theorem, this is how it was spoken when it was discovered, states that any continuous function mapping a compact convex set onto itself contains at least one fixed point. Isn't that cool? No. If you're anything like me, you didn't understand a single word of that. Mathematicians have real talent for obscuring the interesting into the technical. Um, so let's translate from really precise gibberish to imprecise English by way of example. So I have here some Play-Doh, uh, which I've fashioned into a disk of sorts. Um, and I'm going to need you to pretend it's two-dimensional, so it's perfectly flat. And this, this disk is made of Play-Doh particles. Uh, some are at the top, some are at the bottom, and so on. And we can perform a number of operations on this disk. So we can bend it, twist it, rotate it, whatever, go on for as long as we like before making it back into a disk of the same shape. Now, the Brewer fixed point theorem guarantees that when all is said and done, there is at least one particle in this disk that is in the exact same spot as it was before we started. Now, that's kind of cool. But there's a kicker. The theorem isn't limited to two dimensions. So we can go up a notch. Imagine you have a cup of tea, right? Nothing brings people together like a good cup of tea, and mathematicians are no different. So you're making your tea, you get some milk, you pour some in, probably too much there, and, and then you stir it. And you'll have to just imagine this is a spoon. So we're stirring our tea. Now, the theorem states that I can stir my heart out, stir for as long as I like, but when all is said and done, there's at least one particle in this cup that is in the precise same spot as it was before I started stirring. And that's just a fact of the universe. There's nothing I can do about it, which is pretty cool. Now, one thing from the definition that it said, continuous mapping. So it counts for stirring, but the theorem doesn't hold if I do something like shaking. And for the Play-Doh, if I tore it apart and stuck it back together, the theorem wouldn't hold. It's only for things like folding and stirring. So who cares? Nobody. Well, actually, a lot of people care. So this theorem is used everywhere from economics to game theory, from space science to even uh, optimizing cake cutting strategies. But why should you care? Well, the next time you're on a date and you want to sound a bit clever, go up to the bar and ask for a martini. And when the bartender asks, shaken or stirred, say you want it stirred rather than shaken so that the brewer fixed point theorem still holds. And then you can complain when, by saying that at least one particle is in the exact same spot as before and he hasn't fully mixed it. Thank you. <laughs>